I was just gonna handle this shit legally, right? And just hit you in court and just get what I'm deserved from all of y'all being foul and trying to defame me. You wanna play games with me? Okay, let's play. We going through receipts tonight, Chris. We going through receipts tonight, Kim. You have with the wrong person. Did you help Kim release her sex tape? <laughs> So Ray J is going off on the Kardashians as he should. Once upon a time, Kim Kardashian and Ray J dated and they filmed a little tape that ended up launching Kim's career. When this tape was leaked, the narrative being pushed was that the tape was leaked and that Ray J was at fault for this. But in reality, Kris Jenner had control over the entire situation and orchestrated everything. Pretty much met with business partners to sell this tape and I guess frame Ray J. I don't know why she thought this would make Kim look good, but I mean, she thought correctly because she ended up getting a television show and becoming mega famous, but at Ray J's expense. The last time we spoke about Ray J, he actually went to the Daily Mail and told them everything because there was this scene on the Hulu Kardashian show where, you know, Kanye brought this computer to Kim and it supposedly had a lost tape that uh, Ray J had and was going to release against her will. So there are actually two tapes out there, but the truth is that Ray J never had this tape. So that computer scene was a bunch of crap. He got me all of the sex tape back. Oh my God. And he flew home and got the computer was on the hard drive. And met up with Ray J at the airport and got it all back for me. Oh, Kim. Oh my God. That's amazing. Chris actually had that tape and she had them film a second tape for good measure. So now Ray J is coming out and he's clearing his name and I'm, I'm living for it. So let's go ahead and see what he's posting. So if you were to go to his Instagram, you would see there's a bunch going on here. And I think what really triggered him recently was that Chris Jenner went on to James Corden's show, who I cannot stand him. And she met up with this like lie detector guy named John, who I'm thinking about making a video about this guy because he has definitely taken like you know the lie detecting system the polygraph and he's exploited it because he he's like an entertainment like lie detector guy you know he does whatever the show or the person paying him tells him what to do so chris jenner went on there and like you know answered questions and you know she was telling the truth when really she wasn't and one of these questions involved that tape did you help kim release her sex tape <laughs> No, no. True. Of course it's true. Thank you. Of course it's true. So he wrote a whole paragraph about this situation, calling him out and calling them liars. I love this part right here. Wait until they see your contract you signed the same day as me. You guys should have quit when you were up, but now you will be another American greed story clown cakes and then he ended up going live so there's a few different videos here that we're going to talk about this is about a 45 minute long live stream so we're going to react to seven minutes of it but before we do that i want to talk about this video clip right here because he <laughs> writes a ton to kim kardashian um calling her foul uh it looks really bad. I mean, they are in a legal situation right now, which I feel bad for Ray J because like the Kardashians, like they have legal money. Um, but it looks like uh, he's maybe being sued for defamation by them because he came out and told the truth about what happened with this tape. Ray J has been putting a lot out there. So again, we're not reacting to it all, but here's that first clip. I don't know what the f do you think this is. But you have with the wrong person. Period. You have not him wearing the Balenciaga when Kim just did her whole Balenciaga campaign. The wrong black person. Period. You don't the wrong black man. Oh no, you don't the wrong one. I was just gonna handle this shit legally, right? And just hit you in court and just get what I'm deserved from all of y'all being foul and trying to defame me, and trying to make me look bad. When you know what's up, in one hour, I'm having them send everything I got. We going through receipts tonight, Chris. We going through receipts tonight, Kim.
Everything that I got, I'm going to let them see. So Ray J is mad mad and he had his team collect the receipts and get them ready for his live stream which again was like 47 minutes long but I pulled some clips of these messages and we have to watch this together guys. I'm like actually oh, I'm so nervous and excited because this is just so real raw and messy. He's going through his messages with Kim Kardashian. I say all kind of shit but I'm just showing you what she's saying like look. Quickly, if you peep this message, you'll see she brings up the computer and Kanye because that moment on the Hulu show really was just for Kim. You know, Kanye brought this computer and he supposedly saved the day because he provided the last tape, which was never in Ray J's possession. So it was a bunch of crap. And she's trying to tell him, like, you know what? Like, after the world sees that moment, nobody's going to care. Let's just close this chapter. And Ray J's like, you know what? You can't just take this moment and completely lie on my name and then just expect me to be OK with it because it supposedly satisfies whatever you know you're looking for or whatever narrative you're looking for from this situation and 20 years later we're still dealing with it i completely understand all this shit like this shit just spoke to my team we will get something back to out tomorrow morning and clarify that this was a joke and then you will have never I can read. I'm just like. <laughs> no, nah, I need my glasses on, God. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? She trying to she she trying to blame whack for like for like talking about. You know what I'm saying? Look, look. When I'm like this, look. Everybody wins but me. You know what I'm saying? I'm the bad guy every time. I'm tired of playing the role as a villain. I did it for us in the beginning, but now without your support, it hurts me over bad i hope you really understand wow i had no idea that i was supposed to be private like why are you even talking to me if i'm the bad if i'm bad why are you even having a conversation with me i know i'm trying to keep the phones i'm high this phone is like you know what i'm saying weird just snap a shot of that shit so here it does sound like kim supposedly dealt with someone on Ray J's team, but she's saying like, so this entire time I thought you were working together, so I was confused. So it seemed like she was talking to his manager about the situation, I guess, trying to like notify him. And Ray J seems to have some type of disconnect from his manager. Like you trying to blame whack on something that you already got. Y'all, listen, y'all told, your mom told us to go do what we did in Santa Barbara. That's the only reason why y'all reached back out to whack is because he put Santa Barbara in the post. Because other than that, your lawyer went on TMZ and said Wack was, was lying, 15 minutes of fame, blah, 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 blah. That's all y'all kept saying. And then he put Santa Barbara and it changed the game because you know. Like, look, you just keep going. Like, you trying to help me. But then you, you told me, you told me, look how she trying to, like, come on, y'all. What the f*** is this? Dog? I also have a big idea of buying the tape from Vivid, and we should have a conversation about that. So, hmm, buying back the rights to the tape that they sold back then, but they framed it as Ray J leaking it. <laughs> like, look at this shit, dog. Like, like you talking to me. This is like, I told you to hit me right back. I ain't talked to you in 17 years. I said, I'm going to put everything out. Now you're you just talking to me. You talking to me like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Look how she look. Look right here. Are you comfortable with the story? We are working together to try to have the tape removed from the internet and have it taken off. Like, look, this shit crazy. Like, we both want to protect children and family considering the, I hear you completely like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I ain't, you know, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't trying to talk like her, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm just showing you, I'm just showing you. Look, look, she say like, like she said, I just think the story above is powerful and shows that we are working together for the future of our children and families to get out of the Internet. It sounds like maybe Steve is someone from Vivid and he says like Steve won't allow it. So maybe like Vivid won't sell it, which I totally get that because like Kim Kardashian is literally like the most famous person. So if you have this tape, like, you know, that's worth a lot more than I guess whatever she would end up paying. Really? My family too? Because I can't motherfucking tell. Right. I can't tell. Not the black man. Not the not me. But you are really trying to do it or what? Because I said Steve won't allow it. 
So, so we can pretend to do all that, but it still probably won't happen. Plus, won't people say, why is Ray J trying to get it off the Internet when I'm the one who put it out in their, in their mind? Doesn't it get extremely confusing? She tried to tell me to lie back and say, because I grew up. Because you grew up. Zoom in on that shit. They because you grew one. up and have a family and people change their minds. I didn't do shit. <laughs> like, like, you believe in the lie way too much. I just wanted to be clear with you if you wanted to get out that we spoke. That's I don't want to create any drama at home. Oh, you don't want to create any drama at home for me? That's the gaslight. I can't tell. That's gaslight. I'm a piece yes. of shit. Oh, you ain't talked to me in years. But the story that we will work together to speak to Vivid can get pulled off the air is a bigger story and show unity and that there's no more bad blood or drama. Nigga. Like, what the like, what, you know what I'm saying? This in April. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, look, 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 look. Uh, I don't know. I ain't never spoke to you on the phone or seen you in person in over 12 to 15 years. I'm having combo with you now, but I haven't been able to. But I haven't. <laughs> Stop. But I haven't been able to to look you in the eye and really lock in like it's supposed to be. I appreciate you for at least trying to make it better after it got way worse. Can we speak again tomorrow after the episode comes out and figure out the right plan for both of us? Absolutely, Ray. You know, if it's better than if it if, if it's better that it just goes away, that's fine too. Okay, trust me, it'll go all the way. Please understand, I don't want this to come back up and and thought you did since whack. He got it from you. What are you talking about? Let's discuss tomorrow. For sure, either way, it will be positive. So she trying to say that the episode that Kanye came back with the computer was positive for me. And that episode was far from positive for Ray J. I mean, it really angered people because Kim was so visibly upset, crying over this computer. Kanye made a whole scene bringing it, you know, to her. And to think that that's not even real. I'm like, wait, what? That's not real at all. That is insane to me. I can't imagine Kim just sitting there crying on camera like that if it's not even in existence. So I'm just like a little bit confused because like, is Kim truly lying this much? Like this much to where like she's sitting there crying on the show when she's crying about nothing and fooling the entire world into believing that Ray J was like recently holding this second tape against her and was going to release it. When in reality, Kris Jenner's the only person who really has a copy of this. So I watched the episode, it. fam. Same, same so, story. Yeah, so I watched the episode. Kanye go back with the laptop. She say, wait, how much you pay? He go, pay? I never let them extort us again. And like bossed up and I'm like, thank, thank you. That's the thanks I get. Man. Like, and she said, please watch the episode because you're going to be happy when you see it. So I'm like, all right, I'm watching it, thinking they're going to clear my name, dog. And then all of a sudden they, they like play it. And I'm like, dog, that's some like, I don't know. That was like some gothic, like just dark shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on. And I'm just showing y'all this because I'm putting this all out for my kids. Like, I'm tired of playing games. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not that they say I am never been, dog. I'm tired of thinking that it's just this little bad little thing in the back you did, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? We're going to look the other way. Nah, we're not looking the other way. I totally get that because if it's not something you did, you don't want to, that like that to rule your identity. And to be honest, like Ray J, he's a star, but like that's that like tape with Kim is something that he's definitely known for. So I totally get that his reputation is completely dictated by this moment that they're trying to currently exploit and then at the same time gaslight him into like washing it all away. The way, as long as my name cleared, y'all, everybody getting sued because they all putting out fake stories. Look, so I see the shit. I'm like, you want to play games with me? Okay, let's play. Then she go big. She goes big. Oh, wow. She's like, I'm not going to take this crap from you threatening me. Do whatever the F you want to do. You told me you you told me don't do anything and wait for the episode to come out. So I did. Hmm. I could have tried to control it. So don't come at me when your manager put this footage out. So, wow. Like Kim really, like, you know, she started to stand up for herself, which I get it. Like, I mean, she's Kim Kardashian. So sh is she going to take crap from anyone? Probably not. What are you talking about? I'm not going to take this shit from you threatening me. Do whatever 
you want to do. You told me to do anything, wait for that episode to come out. So I did just that and haven't seen one story about it. I could have tried to control the narrative, but you, look, like, look at what you're saying to me. I could have controlled the narrative for me. Like, look at you. So you come at me when you're mad. That does really show that the Kardashians do control a narrative. Like they control a narrative and they, uh, like, I don't know. They just like literally construct it. It's like Legos. Like they build an entire narrative. They paint a narrative. They, you know, mixed media canvas, a narrative. They literally put together this art project and then put it forward and expect the world to believe it. And for those who are damaged by it to just take it, which I don't like that. At me when your manager put this footage out, like he don't have no footage, Kim. You, we sold it. To, like now I'm about to show your I'm about to show your handwriting on my contract now. Now I'm about to go big. Now cause this is just the beginning of it. Like I got so much more to show. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with this like pretending like like you know what I'm saying? Y'all can do something to me. Y'all keep putting this shit over my shoulder. F you. Do whatever you want. I don't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? That's when I go big. I never leaked anything. Why are you still believing your lies? I never leaked anything. You get what I'm saying? Like, dog. You and your mom did. You want to try to tear black men down and ruin careers with all of your lies. Wow, that is like, that's a really intense thing. Because like this tape is something we've all known about. And it's like really weird to see like how clearly they lied about this. And this lie really like set off her entire career. Now she's huge, you know, the entire family is. So that's what I wanted to show you when it comes to Ray J and his DMs with Kim. But like he said, he did end up bringing up the contracts. And I just want to point out a few parts of this contract because in the contract, you could see um, they talk about being in Cabo and being in Santa Barbara and, you know, doing it. There's some type of message from Kim at some point that he ends up sharing. Here you guys can see that actually that line we were just talking about says tape one, tape two, tape three. So there's gonna be three tapes. And can you imagine your mom coordinating your like intimacy tape? That is so weird. And like contracts being written out. At some point he actually like pulls up like a projector and you could see there's like this whole like contract that he's sharing. Like, is it on the computer or on a I honestly can't tell. Or is he on a MacBook. It looks like it's being projected onto a wall. So they're having like a whole like moment over there where they're going through everything. Here you can read there's like, you know, notices and licenses involved with this footage. So truly the footage was sold. There's no doubt about this. I mean, it, it was not leaked. This is a very in control situation where there's a lot of paperwork and legal nuances. And supposedly here are some signatures right here on the screen. Um, I'm not entirely sure who's signing here, but I believe one of those are Chris Jenner's. Ew, I found a weird note where it says, you're baby forever, Kimmy. Ew, so weird, Kim. Not you acting brand new after you became like way more famous. And it looks like he shares this message where she's super apologetic. The the message where she says, you're baby forever, Kimmy. She's like apologizing for all of this and uh, talking about how it will only make them stronger. So it wasn't just Chris who was coordinating this. Kim was also actively coordinating this effort and was on Chris's side. So these two had a plan and they executed it perfectly. But 20 years later, the truth comes out. And I mean, Ray J deserves justice. I believe that his reputation should be, you know, reinstated because he wasn't this monster that the Kardashians have tried to paint him out to be. And I like that he's being super open about this because it shows how manipulative everything has been. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here's my email. If you have any other video ideas for me, which team are you on? Are you on team Kim, Ray J? Kanye, Chris, comment below and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.